Hey guys and welcome to this design zone tutorial. I'm going to be making an icon, a glossy icon. Uh, this one right here. It's a nice uh, sleek, shiny, circular icon. Uh, you can use this for uh, obviously a company icon, logo, or an introduction video, something like that. Alright, I'm going to show you how to uh, make this. Go ahead and minimize that. First thing you do is come up here to File and hit New. Um, we're going to do a uh, nice square. It's going to be a 500 by 500 pixel square. Should be good enough. And the first thing we're going to do is start off by going to this uh, ellipse tool and dragging out a nice circle. All right. And this tool, or this uh, circle here, we're going to come over here and use this tool. It's uh, This is your layering view. You're going to right click on this, go to blending options, and give it a nice drop shadow by clicking check mark. And then uh, click on drop shadow and give it... Alright, set the distance down. Give it a nice little uh, dark black little shadow here. That looks good, about right there. And then come down here to uh, Gradient Overlay. Check that. And I like to uh, reverse it. Kind of like the black on top. And that should be it for that. Hit OK. And what this is going to be is the background. This is going to be your uh, shiny, metallic looking background. Well, it'll come together here in a little bit. Actually, uh, I'm going to add a... Uh, go back into the blending options. I'm going to add a uh, bevel to it. And that should give it a nice uh, rounded look. Uh, right now you can't really see it, but uh, we'll just go with that for now. Hit OK. Alright, now we're going to make a, another circle. Ellipse. The ellipse tool. Make it a little smaller. And put it inside come back into your blending options by right clicking again change go ahead and take the drop shadow off bevel off and the gradient off and we're gonna go with a cover overlay go into the settings change the color to a darker blue you can go with whatever color you like I'm just using blue just because and hit OK I like to uh, make this color a little darker um, for this uh, medium, this uh, middle shape here. That way when we bring out the uh, lighter color it will be a nice gloss finish to it. Alright, now what we're going to do is duplicate this layer. Right click, duplicate, hit OK. And then I'm going to use the shift button and drag this over a little bit. Same with this side, shift, drag. Alright, and now hit view. And you gotta go in very fine. Here, I'm gonna expand this. You're gonna go in very fine to move this, or else uh, it snaps to the grid. Go down to the bottom, do the same thing for the bottom. Very small, not as, not as wide as the, the sides here and that'll kind of give it a more circular feel and we'll just bring that back out to actual pixels and now we need to give this a color so right click actually we need to come over here and apply the transformation hit apply right click on this shape layer and go into blending options and we're going to give this a instead of the cover overlay we're going to give it a uh, gradient and hit click on the gradient word here and go back into this color selection tool it's going to give it three color over uh, gradient the uh, red right here is obviously the middle we want to give it a nice dark blue a little bit lighter actually than that color there that looks good and then for these two the yellow and the blue here are going to be the top uh, shiny glossy look so we're gonna give it a nice 
light color. That looks good, and this one will just make it the same. The uh, eyedropper tool comes over here automatically, so I'll select that. And that looks pretty good. Actually, uh, this blue, I'm going to make it a tad bit darker. Hit OK. Hit OK. And then bring this opacity down just slightly. And actually, that, that blue is a little too light. Darken it up a little bit. All right, and that looks good. Now bring this opacity down. I'm going to change the angle here. Alrighty, and that's uh, that looks pretty good there. Hit OK. And then uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to click out here, deselect that. Now I'm going to work on the uh, background. I'm going to give it a nice gray tone. Come down, scroll down here to your background layer. Uh, go to filter, render, lighting effects, and then give it a nice soft omni. I'm going to expand this. That way the uh, gray only touches the corners here. Once I get it how I like it, I hit OK. You can always go with a dark color, a black, blue, whatever you want, whatever your color choice may be. And now I'm going to uh, add a nice text down here. Go into the text tool right here. And this font here is actually a uh, downloaded font I got for free off the internet. And I'm going to type whatever it is I need to. I'll give it a color. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, text layer is way at the bottom. I need to drag this up to the top. That way you can see it. There we go. Design. Zone. And then uh, drag, drop. I'm going to go into the uh, uh, layer tools here and give it a nice drop shadow. mess around with these. Obviously you can uh, change this stuff how you'd like it. Hit OK. And to top it off I'm going to give it a nice lens flare which is in filter, render, lens flare. Actually uh, did that wrong. Hit cancel out of that. We need to uh, flatten this image so all these layers are combined into one layer. What, to do that go down to background the background layer right click and it's flatten image right here and that should do it. Now all those layers are one go into render lens flare and I'm gonna put this way up here towards the uh, rim of this and the brightness up a little bit. That way it kind of shines like it's uh, more metallic. Hit OK. And there we are. Not exactly the uh, same as we had this other one here, but pretty darn close. And that's how I made this uh, design zone icon. You can uh, change the colors like I said. You can do uh, different things. These colors are a little bit off, but they're pretty darn close. So uh, if you can use this, hope you can. Uh, come back again for the next tutorial. Thanks for visiting. Bye.